Hey guys, it's Jasmine and I'm currently writing stuff down in my planner for 2022. So my daily routine, school stuff, and YouTube content. And I figured why not make a video walking you through the process. I recently bought this um, planner from, I'll put her name on the screen because I don't remember, but it's called the Cyberry Planner. And I just wanted to like take today to get most of my like routine, like my morning, night, everyday routine for 2022 written down. So I have my screen recording and I'm gonna basically just walk through it with you guys so that you guys can see my mental process. So let's begin. Um, right now, I am in the January 2022 overview. This is the full page, but if I tap over here, oops, you have to make sure you're not on the, um, the pen tool so that you can actually tap on the hyperlinks. But if I swipe, you can see that there's different calendars for January. So there's like the full page, which I was just on personal work school which i also have what i was doing was i was writing down like what days are for what so really quickly i'm just going to i'm starting with like what i do on each day so for me i like to i've decided that i want to read and discuss on Tuesdays and our Monday and Tuesday so I'm gonna drag this here also let me change there's a couple things I wish GoodNotes would change I wish you didn't have to highlight the text to just change the size I wish you could just change the size right away because um, it just makes your life easier also, I hate that every time you tap the screen, a text box shows up. I wish you had to double tap to make the text box show up. But anyways, um, Saturdays are my film days. I have this little pink box set as like my default and I kind of want to turn that off. I don't know how to turn it off, but whatever. We'll figure that out later. Um, so film and edit I like to film and edit in one day I don't like to postpone it I'm the type of person when I'm on a creative role I have to get it all out so film and edit and then I've also decided I'm going to attempt to do to do filming or upload two videos a week but my default is one video every week usually on Fridays so I'm going to attempt to also film on Thursdays. Thursdays I've noticed that I've just naturally, I don't do any homework on those days because I just don't like to. Like after you're posting my discussion posts, I'm just kind of like, mm, don't want to do anything. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna do my uh, add another film and edit day for Thursdays, and then on Wednesday, I got this highlight idea from Henry or Henry. I don't really know how to pronounce their channel name. I'll put it on the screen. But I saw that when she was doing her um, digital journaling. She highlights the day for some things, and I was like, that's cute. So that's why I'm doing this. So on Wednesday, I'm gonna do my responses. My first responses for the, um, for my discussion posts for grad school. I have a day in the life video for how I prepared for grad school. If you're interested, 
but i will have more day in the life videos to come so subscribe for that if that's what you're interested in so my idea is that i'm going to read and discuss on monday and tuesday and then do my responses on wednesdays and fridays um because i have to have responses for my discussion post after respond to my peers blah 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 and then on sundays this is my day where i prepare for the week so this is my plan days oh for the love of god i don't want that i set it as a default and i don't know how to undefault it <laughs> plan so I like to, when it comes to my schoolwork, I like to plan a week at a time. I write stuff down in my physical planner. Um, I showed that in my last video as well. So, and then film and edit. So what I'm gonna do after this is I'm just basically gonna copy and paste everything because I'm not about to type all this stuff all over again every single time. Copy, paste. Boom. Now I'm gonna go here. Okay, now something I saw that I thought was cool is you can use the lasso tool, tap, and then copy, and then paste. That way you don't have to continuously like rewrite or re-highlight and all that. Okay, so now that I have my full layout for what I do on each day done. Now I wanna focus on like these individual boxes. So if I have anything special or just individualized going on a specific day, I'm going to put that down. So for example, tonight we're having a dinner. We're going out. So I'm just going to put this here, stretch that out. And then on the 21st, I have a hair appointment. I cannot spell today. So if I have a YouTube video going up, I'll put that on there. Copy, that way I don't have to keep doing these settings all over again, I'm just copy and paste. And then I'm filming this video right now. So we're just gonna paste it and we're gonna edit. And we're just gonna call this the plan with me video. This is what we have so far. This was very time consuming, but I like the way it looks. And then for example, I do have a more individualized, more focused one for school um this is where i put my due dates i didn't really put like the day that i did everything i'm just putting due dates here so yeah now we're gonna get into how i plan my like day-to-day -day routines like my morning night what i'm doing every day so i already have stuff planned in my regular apple calendar app this is good for people who are lazy or just don't have time to always rewrite everything for every month because you can add something and then repeat it and like you can put it like every day and so you can add an event and you, it'll just be there without you having to come back to it constantly these are the calendars that i have synced up the subscribed one is my um, canvas calendar so that i can see all my due dates and i like that because of the widget so right here it shows what i have due like if i have something due tomorrow it'll pop up um and then what i like about the the apple calendar is that if you are a little overwhelmed with what you're looking at you can just uncheck stuff so that it looks more simplified um but yeah so when it comes to like my daily routines i have um just a quick little event and it repeats every day that way i can see it easily um, i just like having something written down so that it helps me to time block if necessary so this is a good option for you if you 
are not interested in digital planning but you still want to have your stuff written down somewhere um so yeah that's how i plan like my day-to-day -day routines oh if you're wondering how to subscribe to your canvas on the apple calendar you go to your settings and then they have this option that says subscribe to calendar feed and that's how i added it to my apple calendar but yeah this is really cool it also you can set alerts to your phone like if you want to um, be reminded like if you're starting a new routine for 2022 the benefits of putting stuff in the apple calendar is that it can send you notifications whereas if you're doing a digital planner it really just it's just there and if you don't look at it you don't look at it but yeah in summary this is how i am going to be planning my time i have my pink stuff is like personal like random that's just what's happening that day the kind of like tan color that is what's being uploaded on youtube that day and then the gray color is what i'm filming for that day and then at the top that's kind of like my school related or not even school that's just like the theme of the day if that makes sense so yeah that's how i do all of my planning or that's how i plan to do all my planning for 2022 i might not do the digital planning every month but i like that i have my apple calendar with stuff synced up and stuff is already going to show up every day regardless so that's a good starting point if you want to get into planners but you don't want to waste money on something you're not going to keep up use the apple calendar um so yeah i hope this was helpful it kind of gave you some direction on how to plan your 2020 i also want to get into planning some habits but i'm working on it so maybe i'll do another video in the future on how i formed new habits so stay tuned for that. But if you're new here, I'm Jasmine and I make lifestyle content here on YouTube. So go ahead and check out my channel, see what you like. And if you like what you see, subscribe, join the family. Don't forget to comment and leave a like. And I will see you guys in my next video.